Good morning. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and to get your dreams out of your head into your life. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm going to give you a few minutes to join. Come on in. Been trying to get y'all a few extra minutes to sleep. You know, you know, y'all know, you know, everybody hollering, same time, same schedule. You ain't doing no same time, same schedule, modified time, modified schedule. Come on in the room, and when you come on, just go ahead and invite someone, if you would, please. We're not going to be on here long. Go ahead and invite someone. I'm super excited, and, um... I got a surprise for y'all at 12 and I need your support yes yes I need your support good morning to you good morning 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 Toya blessings to you I'm um, happy Friday to each of you as you come on. If you would just hit the share button, invite someone, that would be great. Um, you see, I like to ask questions. So this morning, my question is: Are you concentrating on your restrictions, or are you, or, or your opportunities? Are you concentrating on your restrictions, or are you concentrating on your opportunities? This is a time of opportunity this is a time of opportunity good morning uh, Regina thank you so much for joining so my question for you today is are you concentrating on your restrictions or are you concentrating on your opportunities the word that I shared this morning in prayer the word that I shared ah, come on we gonna get it together I'm sorry I knocked my phone down <laughs> that did that didn't work out good but we're not going to let that bother us. It's all well. It is all well. Go ahead and invite someone. I want to share this scripture with you before I move on. The scripture I shared this morning was Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. This is not the time for us to think about failure and think about restrictions. We have more control over our, our mind than we give ourselves credit. This is the time for us to think about opportunities. This is the time for us to be very creative. This is the time for us to be positive. This is the time to think about how we have got over, how we, how, how far we have come. Good morning, Robert. Thank you so much for joining. This is not a time for us to have pity parties. This is not a time for us to feel like we're missing something. We're lacking something. We, um, that this is not that time this is the time for us to be super positive this is the time for us to be super faithful this is the time for us to be super creative this is the time for us to bond this is the time good morning alisa thank you so much for joining this is the time for us to reflect on what's next this is the time this is a time of reflection of what's next this is not the time for us to get all frantic and panic this is not the time especially not for God's people not for God not for people that say they know the Lord they love the Lord not for the people that say they want to be in close relationship with the Lord. Good morning, Miss Rose. Thank you so much for joining. This is not that time. This time is not that time. This time is not that time for us to be wondering like we in the wilderness and complaining about what we don't have and what we can't do. This is not the time. This ain't the time for that. This ain't the time for that. What I tell you, you know, this is the time for things that are true. This is the thing. This is time for things that are noble, that are honest, of good report. 
Lord. This is the this is the time for us to talk about things of virtue. This is the time for us to be grateful that because see things could be worse than what they are. This is a time for us to reflect on that we're not in control of anything. Yeah, this is the time. So what are you concentrating on? Are you so bothered about your restrictions and and so excited about, and it's not even a real excitement. We get excitement by what we see, but it's not that we're excited because we're excited, excited. We're excited about everything that we see on the news and that we read on the news feed and that, 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 that is text to us and that is brought to our attention, but we're not doing anything positive with that. We're complaining about how long it's going to be and what is going to happen, what is being counseled, what has to be postponed, instead of us looking at, this is a time that this, there, there are some strategic things going on at this, in this season. This is the time for us to be productive and creative. This is the time for us to build relationships that have been torn down because of busy. We were so busy. We were so busy with work and we were so busy with our business and we were so busy doing X, Y, Z and doing A, B, C. We were so busy. Good morning, Mary. Thank you so much for joining. We were so busy. Now this is a time for us to slow down. This is a time for us to renew. This is a time for us to go to the next level. This is your time to prepare. This is your time. I'm going to say that again. The, uh, we want to think on those things that are true, that are noble, that are just, that are pure, that are uh, that are lovely, that are of good report. This is not the time for us to feel sorry for ourselves. So the question for you, not for you to answer for me, but the question for you to answer is, what are you concentrating on? Are you concentrating on the restrictions are you concentrating on the opportunity? Because you know when there is something bad, there's always an equal opposite of good. Do you know when... I need to blow it. That bird like it want to come up in here with me. <laughs> Look, do you know that when there is always... This is law. There is always an equal opposite. So when there is bad, there is an equal opposite of good. This is called the law of polarity. We got to walk in the law of polarity. Don't look at all the things that are going on. You look at what could be going on. Don't look at what you don't have. Look at what you could have. Stop looking at what you're not doing and look at what you could be doing. There is always an equal opposite. There's always, um, and I know you have some unique coins that maybe, I don't know, but anyway, there's a head and a tail. There's always an up and a down, a front and a back, a true and a false. So you got to know there's a good and there is a bad. Good morning, um, Sherry. Thank you so much for joining. So don't look at it as all bad. You know, this is a time for us to do some reflecting. This is some time for us to be super, like, super, super grateful. This is a time for us to have a relationship with God like no other time. This stuff is new. This is new. This is new to, to rich people. This is new to white people. This is new to black people. This is new to poor people. We are on the same playing field. This right here is like time. Everybody get the same amount. We all, we all, we all either, we all has had modified something. We all, that, that you don't see private schools, to, uh, private schools are not still in section. Private and public is being treated the same. You got to think about that this is not a time for us to be bitter, but it's a time for us to be better. What are you concentrating on during this season? This is a time for us to be better, better. We can be better. We can be better. Not that funny mess where we're going to be great again. Let's make America a great again. This is the time for us to be better individuals. This ain't no time for you to sit back and figure you afraid to, to speak, you afraid to move, you afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Because see, I'm telling you, you haven't even seen all of it. You haven't seen all of it. And when this is over, some places are not coming back. Some places are going to take their loss and they are not coming back. So what we going to do then? If you are working in one of those areas and you are doing if you are if you are working in one of those sectors or even if it's a mom and pop shop, if it's a small um family business, some places after a while down, they they're not coming back. So what are you going to do then? Some stuff they're going to see that it worked like this and they're going to improve it and that's the way it's going to be. 
So don't be, don't be, uh, don't, re- don't, 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 don't be objective. Come on and wonder. Don't be objective to some of the changes because some of the changes are going to be permanent. Mark my word. Some of the changes that you are seeing now that you're kicking and fussing about are going to be permanent because they're going to see that they are working and they feel like if we just improve it a little bit. Good morning, Tyrell. Thank you so much for joining. They're going to feel like if we improve it a little bit, we can save a little money by doing it like this X, Y, Z. It has taken 20 years, you know, you know, when we first went from, you know, in, in the year of 2000 and, and, and the new millennium and technology increasing. But, you know, as technology increased, things are going to continue to change. You know how they went from the paper check and then they start saying, OK, you have the option for the card or direct deposit, electronic payment. And, you know, you had some people at one point was very, you know, objective to paper check. I don't want a paper. I mean, I still want my paper check. I don't want it to go in the bank. I don't want to go in the bank. And then after, after all that kicking and crying, it didn't matter about what we wanted. They went to a point where we're not cutting any checks. This is going to either go on a card or it's going to be deposited directly in your account. You can choose between those two, but we're not cutting checks. We're not cutting checks. And now in this system, when they mess up your check, you got to wait till a whole nother pay period. They don't cut you no check in the interim. Or they may put on a card. But they ain't cutting you no checks. So, what are you thinking about? What are you working on? What have you created over the last five days? What have you reflected on to know? I mean, I see all the homeschool teachers and everything now, the moms that feel like, I can't teach my kids. How you think your t- how you think the teachers feel? If you can't teach them jokers and you got a little advantage over the teacher because you can uh, put some on their tail when they get out of order, how do you think the teacher feel? So whenever school kick back in and your child, when they go back to school, you should have a better child because you should be to whoop their butt to the point where they're going to know how to act when they go to school. Because if you can't keep them and if you can't get them on their programs and have them to do the right thing, if you see they want to be a class clown in the class of two or three, what you think they doing when they're in the class of 20? So think about this as a time, as a, as, as a space for opportunities, for innovations, for new creations. Ask the Lord to give you strategies and ideas and plans to be better and not bitter. Let's use this time where when we come out of this, that we will be better than before we went in. So, y'all are quiet. Good morning, Queen. Thank you so much for joining But use this time for opportunity. Opportunity. This is a time of opportunity. All that I don't know how to use technology. You're going to learn today. You know how we use. You're going to learn today. So God bless you. I pray that you have an amazing day. I pray that you are not focusing on the restrictions but thinking about the opportunities that you can have, even in this season. And know that there's always an equal opposite, good to the bad, and it's called the law of polarity. God bless you. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and get your dreams out of your head into your life. Hey, watch out. I have a big announcement at 12 noon. Be looking for it.